today, one of the things we're going to do as a team is we're going to look at one of our um, projects that um, the skill for this particular project was contributing to evidence-based discussions. They had to do an interview. They had to interview somebody who remembers Vietnam. They didn't have to participate in Vietnam, but they had to be alive during um, the Vietnam War. And so um, students um, wrote interview questions. We um, talked about good interview questions, how to make an interview, what kind of questions you should ask. Then one of their checkpoints was they had to submit those questions so I could give them feedback on whether their questions were you know, good, open-ended questions um, based on who they had chosen to interview. And then they did their interviews and then they had to just transcribe their interviews. And so as a team, we're going to be looking at some of their interviews so that we can get a good baseline um, so that as an entire team, we are all grading it the same. One of the real advantages to blended learning is that everything is online. And so as, as colleagues and as team members, um, we can look at each other's submissions. We can say, what would you give this? What would, you know, without having to drag papers around. And, um, we're able to look at students' work together as a team and pull it up, and that's what you'll see in the video, is you know, we'll pull up a student's work and then we'll talk about it, we'll look at the rubric and make sure that we're understanding it. And this is where early on in the year, I mean, this is our last project at this point, but early on in the year as a team, we would say, oh, hey, that's not how I explained that. We, we need to make sure that we all get on the same page and so that you know, if they switch a semester, that we are all explaining skills in the, in the same way and making it a more fair process for the students that um, all their teachers will be giving them um, equitable scores. And so that's a real advantage of the system that we have is that we're able to collaborate as teams. I have some follow-up questions, but not a ton. I don't know. And then, and then the initial responses. So. But she, like, she has her good questions. So what are some things you remembered? How did you become involved? So her questions are good. What time? And then she does ask follow-up. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know that she propelled, like, so go to the rubric again. Yeah, I don't know if she propelled it forward. I think. I, so I think she definitely does the, oh wait, no, it's, oh yeah, it is. Yeah. So, Did she so she contributes it? by reflecting preparation. Right. Yeah. She. I'd say it's a six. Yeah, so yeah. now go past the six. What's the seven? And so she, I would say she propels the discussion yeah. or poses relevant questions broadly connected and then here poses relevant knowledgeable questions to propel the discussion different. So she's not quite to a seven, no. but she's definitely a, a six. six. Yeah. Yeah. Is she a 6.5 or no? No, I don't think, I don't, I don't and think, I'm good with that. yeah, Please. I think her questions are broad. That's the idea that in the rubric it says question, relevant questions broadly connected. But if she had gotten to like a little mm -hmm. bit more like, Relevant knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 